sure the test is working. Oh, it's not showing that we are live. Oh, uh, here we go. Streaming. Uh, hmm, that's weird. Yeah. Um. Uh. There we go. Let's get some audio. Oh. All right. Test, test, test. Audio. That officially means that we are live. All right, well, that's pretty good. I guess we should uh, jump right into it. Most definitely. Or something. Oh, boy. Welcome, everyone, back to another exciting stream here from the fantastic folks at Project Wrestling Online. I am Atlas Claude Belzer Dinthium. And I am uh, Cecil Walsh Plashke. That's us. We're two-thirds of Travis Travis Dingus and Travis Law Firm LLC and we're calling the action tonight. As you can see the crowd is packed in here at Orlando, Florida. There's no social distancing in effect. It's like a no peace underground show. Oh boy, we got a big one for you lined up tonight. Larry was telling us some of the stuff he's got planned, and oh boy, oh boy, here's a fun little sneaky peek at some of the action and excitement going on. Starting things off real big. Yeah, we're starting we're starting things off here with. Uh... Apparently a tornado tag. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how I that mean, happened, but hey. we got uh, these two men, Matt DeMorris and Nick Shade, who will be opponents at Heavy TLC, but tonight they have to work as a team going against the Illuminati. Oof. You know, ever since those guys got freed from, uh, from their jail sentence, they've been really just been out to prove that they are unstoppable it's been worse it really has been uh yeah send these clowns back to the compound well we'll see time will tell uh it's gonna take a whole lot of collusion here from uh matt de morris and nick shade yeah i mean they're an unlikely tag team but as we've seen lately with Tokyo bell unlikely tag teams uh seem to be doing just fine here um make him drink the kool-aid uh-oh we know all about kool-aid <laughs> it is a dangerous dangerous beverage it is it's basically just a sugar packet a uh, mix of water and some food coloring that's yeah. about it really yeah man it's not bad it's not bad but i drank quite a bit like Jeff offered me something. I was like, hey, fuck it. Uh oh. You drank his Kool Aid. Well, why not? It was great. Well, you know the what they say. Contest the man who drinks the Kool Aid never holds the Project Hybrid Championship. From New Jersey, weighing in at 240 pounds. That's why Jeff never drinks his own Kool Aid. Hybrid <laughs> champion. He he never drinks it. Champion. What? Yeah. He makes it for everyone else, but he won't drink it. He tells everyone else that he wants them to just savor the flavor. I think that's his code way of saying. He's just trying to poison the boys. Slow them down a little. It's a slippery slope, but so far, we haven't really seen it pay out dividends, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Well, here's a man. No Kool-Aid. Just an unstoppable chin. And a belt. He won, he, he won it from Jay Leno. The Illuminati is a real mid-bummer, am I right? Oh, you have no idea. Juno sucks at video games. Welcome to the fun. Hopping in on a 
big old tag match getting stuff started here. Nick Shade and his opponent, Matt Morris, taking on the Luchinati. Looking uh, as fired up as ever. Oh, yeah. Pep in the step. I'm sure this is going to be interesting to see how they work as a team, if they work as a team. Or what's going to happen here? We hope two. so. Have we simp for Nick Shade, Nick Shade in the chat. Uh-oh, we got some Nick Shade fans. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's really starting to uh, gain some traction. Yeah, he's he really had a stride lately. <laughs> really has. He's got a big, I think his first, like, solid one-on-one -on -one title opportunity here. And yeah, I believe so. I think pretty much every other match he's been in for a title match has been just something like thrown together, big multi-man matches. Oh, jeez. Uh. Here we go. And their opponents, at a combined weight of 480 pounds, Jay Mack and Shane Evans. The yeah, Luchador. these guys, uh, nothing but trouble, these two. You know, whether they're behind bars or uh, not behind bars. You can see the uh, this newfound purpose in life. You know, they, they've cleansed themselves of their addictions. They're no longer slaves to what they once held dearest in life. And now they just have one goal, and that's to be part of the Illuminati. Here they go. Well, oh, okay. Saying I'm gonna start things off here. I thought we were getting tornado tag action. Looks like we're going back to actual tag action. Uh, I don't know who is... Oh. No. Nope. We're going it right is indeed a, tag, a tornado tag match. Maybe. What? Possibly? I don't know. We don't make the rules. Larry does, and that's what Larry says goes. We are given no warning. We just oh, show Jesus. up and Nick Shade quickly eliminated. Just tossed out of there, man. Larry's been hitting the sauce, apparently. Cause, oh. <laughs> I don't know. This is a... Uh... Ooh, Nick Shade got Shane Evans up on the outside. Ooh! Quite a kick. At the Morris and Nick Shade handily uh, taking on Iluchinati here. Right. Seems like they're able to hold their own as a team. And I seen too much teamwork from them as Nick has been on the outside with Shane this entire time so far as. Whoa, not going up top. That's not very... You don't see that one very often. Oh! Ooh, that frog nice. splash. Digging into his... Uh, his archive there <sighs> for that one. Now, Morris going up top. Shoulder block. Matt Morris going up top. Don't. Whoa. Oh! oh. Just diving knee drop right on the Knox chest. Don't let his size fool you. That man can fly with the best of them. Nick Shade. Nick Shade. Whoa! 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 break dance leg drop there. Dancey dance. Knock trying to cut a rug there. And not sure what was going on. Oh! There he goes. Knock is oh, into it's... the ropes. Ugh. Shane Evans, that relentless assault that you, he is so known for here at Project Wrestling. And one of the most just violent and dangerous people here is... Oof, that, that is what I'm talking about, that big bid. Morris is a lot more agile oh. than he looks. Is. <laughs> Jay Knock with that Kapu kick hitting squarely on the jaw of Nick Shade. It looks like he's getting ready for a oh. knockout. Oof. He's not done with him, but... Wow. Once again. This time it's knock. Knock going uh -oh. up. 
We go for another. Oh! oh. That mm. diving knee is. Looks like we're already getting our first project superplex. Right as the uh, This Is Awesome yeah. chant kicks oh. in. And what an unbelievable Oof. way to kick off this stream. Oh, most definitely. Oh. Morris now firing up here. He is not happy about that superplex. Ooh. Oh! Shame that it broke his nose. Nick with that float over DDT. Quick to break it and save the pin there for his partner. Shane not happy about that at all. Starting things off, every single one of these men has held a world title at some point. Whoop. Oh, oh wow, he went for the nightfall, but Demoris wanted the Demoris wanted the uh possibly the credit or the uh he wanted to do a move. I don't know. <laughs> he wanted to do something else. He, he's like, no, don't That's do that. Right. He can't do his other move in the game. <laughs> yeah. You gotta get the 2K turn for that one. Why would you do that? <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, both Nick Shade and Shane both firing oh, up here. A little bit of uh, Oof. action in every corner of the ring is. Oh, Shane went for that drop, drop kick. kick. Didn't pay out. Earned himself a double stomp. Only two count. Nick Shade. Oh, there it is. That's got to be the end. Got to be One, it. two, three. three. And wow. Despite the fact that these two men are facing off and just do more shows, they stuck it out. Yeah, these guys, these guys will be, uh, you know, they're friends tonight, but come heavy TLC, Oof. they will be against each other in a TLC match. A heavy TLC match. A heavy TLC match. I found oh, out yeah. from Larry the reason that it's called a heavy TLC is all of the tables, ladders, and chairs have been structurally reinforced mm. with steel. So uh, steel tables, steel ladders, and steel chairs. So the chairs are the same basically. Oh man, he must have imported the tables from Japan. 400 pound chair, 400 pound ladder. All right, let's see here. Might see a little bit of respect before their match. Yeah. yeah. There we go. All right. Looks like we're gonna have a nice, clean, good sportsmanship contest this Sunday, and that's a good, you know, that's good. It's something you don't see too often. Yeah, that is a really? definitely a nice turn of events to see just pure sportsmanship. That's. One thing that I've always liked about the hybrid division, I feel, is that it's more about the, the love of the sport and more about the ability to prove yourself than it is about egos or anything like that. Woo! Speaking of egos. Oh, yeah. Jim Shabert. <laughs> we got Jim Shabert. We got the new, newly christened uh, Project Teamwork champions, yeah. Dungeon Runners, and... And Tech, who has just been really climbing these ranks here, and uh, there's a huge ladder match planned. I heard about that. You'll see. So we do know Dungeon Runners are going to have a, a, a really steep, steep ladder to climb, so to speak, squaring off against three other teams. Woohoo! Eight men in there, all vying for those tag belts. That's gonna be insane. It's gonna be a real, a real J.R. Humperdink. S slam, slammering or slam jammerton. As the uh, the teamwork of Tech has been proving to absolutely yes. shut down other teams recently. Absolutely, and I mean. They're they're. It's great to see them back as a team. Uh, as a side here, um, uh, we actually, if you have IWTV, Ty Hill made his death match debut at yeah, No yeah. Peace Underground. You can check that out. 
made his debut last night. Check it out. It's uh, I don't know. It's just a thing. It's good. It's whenever there's project talent, you know. I heard there was even uh, John X Machina and Wild West Segress in attendance. That's so, right. That's right. Might be something you're interested in if you just want even more project wrestling outside of project wrestling as we are now there we go now our project team or champions here on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 395 pounds, the pro John X McIntyre and the cyborg Punk Tyler Hill, the mm -hmm. Blade Runners. JoJo tried her best. She didn't do very good, but she did try her best. As these two men are looking to shut down any hope of tech entering in that ladder challenge because uh, we know for a fact that Tech is hungry for those belts and if you know Dungeon Runners are able to knock them off here tonight there's pretty good chance they might not make it to that ladder match depending on how big of a hurt these guys are looking to put down on these guys tonight but time will tell as it, as it often does it often does. Specifically, time tells with these guys because they're from the future. So they say. You know, I the future's got, like, real fucked up pants. These guys got, like, rips and patches and stuff. Yeah, there's a pants shortage in the yeah. future. It's a real problem that, you know, isn't often addressed. Uh, we'd like to set up a charity. If we start the charity now, we feel that it will accrue interest, and by the time um, that it's 2099, uh, it will have enough money in the account to wear, I don't know, pants are just more highly accessible. Yeah, that's not a bad Trevor idea. Reed. So, that might you be know. Travis, so. Travis Dingus, and Travis's new fund, the Pants Fund Foundation. The future pants, pants foundation for tomorrow. <laughs> pants for our great grandchildren. Pants across America. They deserve to have pants. Just like Mike, I feel like he deserves a less fucking insane jacket. Yeah. He uh, and it's kind of his thing though. There's a lot of static. Believe it or not, there's a lot of static on that entrance sway. It's actually carpet. Yeah, it's it's pretty crazy. So it makes his jacket kind of go insane. Pants are a non-renewable resource in the future. Oh, well, that makes sense then. That totally makes sense. I'm not from the future, so I don't know. Me neither. I'm from the past, technically. Yeah. All right, looks like John X Machina and Mike Monroe starting things off here tonight. All right. Taking turns. Usually oh. Ty Hill and Trevor Reed are starting things off. But, wow, what a way to get things started here. Monroe just charging Machina there. Woo, almost tossing him out of the ring. He wants this match bad. So two Ooh. men know each other very well. Oh. Went to the future once with the Gucci Time Wizard. Oh fuck. That sounds like a fun one. Ooh! Whoa! Unable to bring Monroe down. Wow. Monroe. Oh! That got him down. Bad place to be in the crosshairs of John X Mach and his strikes. Those elbows and knees are vicious. How'd you end up as your own father in the future? Huh. <laughs> Oof. He'd end up as your own child. Ty Hill now. Quick tag yeah. already made. Whoa! Spilled oh, to the outside there. Monroe going to make that tag to his partner Trevor Reed, former 
Project Wrestling Champion. Oh. 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 Crucifix. Oh. I think. Both men had the same idea there, it looked like. Looks like it. Time Ooh. shits. Oh, time shifts. I read that as time shits, and I was very confused. You gotta do your time shits. Yep. Oof. Oh. <laughs> nope. There's a time shit for you. <laughs> There's a little, uh... He's got some ring rest. Oof. He's still a little, uh... A little beat up from that deathmatch, probably. <laughs> That's for sure. Still feeling the effects of it. Oh, I have a strange feeling he, uh... Very much so is. Oh. Ooh, big clothesline in the corner there. Back now. Separating Ty from that other corner. Oh! And... Oh, oh, God! Oh, Ty Hill immediately <laughs> says no! <laughs> Firing up real quick. That fighting spirit. Oh, Jonas great with a low teamwork. bridge. This gives Ty a little t t time to recover, but looks like he's might be taking flight here. Taking flight. Oh, oh went for that dragon rod of it. Tre Able Trevor to land on it. his feet, but oh. Trevor. Trevor scooped Magan off the apron for low bridging him. Ground here. Oh, oh. Uh, not sure what Ty was doing there. He's fucking exhausted. I'm telling you, <laughs> he must be. He had a very long night last night. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ! It's like throwing a fridge on somebody. Oh, went for that jumping knee. Monroe ducked it, but I'm not gonna follow it up with some leg shots. Oh, oh God! Brutal strikes. Yeah, these two are the strikers of their respective teams. Machina favors the kicks and knees. Mike Monroe likes to throw that fastball punch. Oh, there's that oh, knee. Well, okay. <laughs> oh. oh. One, two. Oh. Ooh, very close call. <laughs> Looks like Jim's looking to, looking to do his patent. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Boom. Headshot right there. Laying it down there as he is just punishing Mike Monroe right now. God. Good lord. What did Mike do to him? I don't know. He has pissed him off somehow in some way. Oh, wrenching see. on that arm. Stabile once again distracted. Getting rid of that chair, thankfully. It's like a game between these two. Oh, Mike Monroe going up top. He doesn't do that very often. Little Ooh. fish drop action there. Because, oh, no. Uh -oh. Here comes that fastball punch we were talking Watch about. Out. Oh, Ooh, that's it. He right on the out. chin. Looking to get that tag made to TC Reed. Oh. Here we go. Looking for some tech support. This is going to be oh. it. Ty Hill breaks it immediately. Oh, Ty Hill now. Doing doing something. Oh. It's not Ty great. Is sending TC right to sleep. Oh, go to sleep. One. Two. Oh, so close. Ty with the interference there, too. Able to run shop on Mike Monroe. TC Reed, you know, when he says this is my ring, uh, he's being quite literal. That's right. We do technically rent the ring from Trevor. Still, it's a, it, it's a, it's a work in progress. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Squish the brains. That right there. Right out of the him. end. 
Ike able to save the day at the very last second. There's Trevor. Oof. Oh, gut buster on Ty Hill. Down. The double team just absolutely racking the brain of Trevor. Both members of Team Tech now bloodied. Oh, for Hertz Donut. Oh, oh, face first on the mat right in the middle of the ring. Not done with him just yet. Oh, no. He's looking again for that tech support. Looking to switch it up this time. Oh, nope. John X Machina has the referee accidentally distracted trying to get in the ring there. While uh, Mike Monroe and TC Reed stomp a hole here right in the center of Ty Hill's chest. Ow. Oh, no, that's a big boy. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> There can't be much life left in him. It's like having a center it lineman is. flying at you full speed. The resiliency here by Ty Hill is impressive. Mike Monroe firing up here. Oh, face first onto that knee. Oh. Looking for the frozen. Nope, oh, he slipped up. Slipped out. Ty Hill looking for that. Shira knew he's standing. Oh, Monroe scoops the leg. Oof. Oh, that sidewinder suplex. Oh, <laughs> snapping Ty Hill. Met back and neck first against the mat. But Ty able to get that counter in there. Off the ropes. Ooh. Ransom. Oh, look at this. Showing off here a little bit. Oh, God, that lariat. Laying him down. Once again, the arm drag. Oof. Blocks the kick. Power of Mike Monroe is absolutely insane. Once again, tech support setting up here. Oh, there's no way. Woo! Ty he Hill. Out. Absolutely impressive here. And he's fighting on pure instinct, you know it, because he has just been absolutely exhausted at all turns. Oh. Back elbow there by Trevor. Sends him off to the ropes again. Is he looking for another one? No, what is this? Okay. I was going to say. <laughs> Goodness. No. Trying his best to just stay on top of his opponents here. Ty gets that Irish whip off to the corner. Tag made the Machina here. They're setting Same up for that man. sandwich shot again. Once again! Oh! <laughs> Trading places here. This Trading faces. Oh, Trevor, once again, breaking the count. Wow. Jonas Machina is not happy. These guys giving, giving it all here in this opening contest. Ooh. Or not opening contest, but you know. Basically. The second match. Oh, God. John is walking and stomping the face and chest of Mike Monroe here. I don't know if there's going to be anything left of these two teams by the time we get to heavy TLC. It's hard to say, but oh, big drop kick there. They got to think there's going to be two other teams in the match. You know, they they uh -oh. want to save some of their energy. Hot tag there for Trevor. Just chops Johnny score, but he ducks it immediately. Impressive instincts. Oh. Both of these guys seem to have each other's numbers. Oh. Flipped off into the corner again. Tag made one more time. Can they finally seal it off with a third one? Oh, 
Oh, that's got to be it. Mike Monroe is nowhere in sight. Jim Chabert is not interfering. Now one, one, two. two. Whoa, oh, what? But the resiliency what? of these the two former teams. Project champion. Absolute insanity here. You guys are getting a pay-per-view quality Super Show matchup here for free. <laughs> No, once again. Both teams Monroe denying came back from each other. A, his bathroom break. Yeah, he was a uh, powder in his nose. <laughs> Trevor once again. Oh, Hurts Donut right in the center of the ring. Once again, should be calling Looking for tech, tech support. Yep, this time they're switching oh, it up. Oh, jeez. Maybe switching it up will oh. do the deed. One, two, three. Oh, Trevor and able to tech. stop interference by Machina there. Tech picking up the win Woo. over the champions. What a crazy match. That's going to be playing hugely in their favor heading into... Heavy TLC. Oh, most definitely, especially considering that Tech have really been on a tear lately, you know, trying to make Undefeated. sure they get those belts. If they could be as dominant in the teamwork champion uh, ship ranks, TC Reed was in the uh, pure championship. Uh, yeah. It spells disaster for every Here other tag team. Are your winners. Jim Shaber, he's the X Factor. He's always there at ringside with these guys. But Larry has told me now that he will not be able to be at ringside during that eight man ladder match. He said, due to the fact that he has put so many chairs in the ring that he has actually exposed and completely wasted our uh, our chair yeah. budget. Yeah, he said, the, you know, it's a ladder match. You can't be pulling chairs into it. As soon as a chair comes into play in the ladder match. Disqual every, every team's disqualified and the yeah. belts are stripped from everyone. And I mean, Jim Chabert has burned through our chair budget, so we're yeah. not even going to have any chair matches thanks yeah. to him. No chair matches at all. We will have TLC matches, but we were yeah. supposed to have... Well, oh, whoa! Oh, 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 holy shit. Yeah, this is... We got... Wow. Ooh, boy. Big Brock Bresner. Not a match I expected he's to a, see tonight. He's a fan... Favorite? He's definitely in people, Project Wrestling. <laughs> people love seeing Buck Bresner here. They do like seeing him. They like seeing him. And, <laughs> you know, he's very good friends with Security. Security has a championship match at Heavy TLC. That will be another TLC match. Uh, Secure TLC, a Heavy TLC Oh boy, this one's going to be, uh, this is, so you know, this is, you got to think that security is definitely trying to get in the mind of Rob Mara the way he has previously oh, yeah. dealing with, you know, the, uh, the rest of the Wild West and things like that. He really is trying to play those mind games. And the thing is, security is coming out here and he says he just wants to, he just, he just wants to act as security for both people. Well, I guess that much but is that I have much will a, a be seen. strong feeling that the man with the American flag, uh, there's going to be some serious bias. Um, well, I this. guess we'll have to see. You know, because I'm not saying that I don't trust him, but historically, Security has done some questionable things here in Project Wrestling. We'll just say that. One thing there's no question about at all is whether or not this man is ready for that match. From the Wild West, weighing in at 263 pounds. This is a man that always comes ready. Oh yes, he is prepared for anything at any time. He is unstoppable so far in his reign as champion. Rob Marrow here is just as you can see, life of the party as per usual. How is he going to fare in a TLC match? You know, it's a very unique TLC. Both of these guys are uh, heavyweights. 
Yeah, that's very and true. TLC, have... the, the, it's neither of their fortes. It's a good thing we reinforced those ladders. Yeah. And chairs. And tables. Oh, oh <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and that's why these fans love them. Oh, yeah. That's the one right there. That's the old Buck Bresner with that fantastic entrance video. <laughs> and his opponent, accompanied by the ghost, Travis. And Every Buck single York, time, it's, it's a gift. It really is just a, a gift. The All-American Giant is. Big Buck. <sighs> Buck Bresner here doing his best to... How does JoJo remember this goofball's name? He's a WCW legend. Oh, yeah. You know, it, Buck Bresner's been doing his best to make to, to cope and to get through the fact that his presidential candidate did not win by a landslide. In fact, he actually lost by a landslide. Yeah, you know. Uh, so, you know, he's been having a real hard go of things recently. Oh, yeah, and... Uh... I mean, he lost by a landslide of capital punishment, where he lost all four of his <laughs> matches, but... Uh, wow! <laughs> oh, smart thinking there. Oh, oh, Jesus oh, 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 talk about the biggest back body drop of all time. God, I just bit the fuck out of my tongue saying, Jesus Christ, because <laughs> Buck's fucking body drop went higher than a skyscraper. Careful with that tongue. Yeah. I hope you have tongue insurance. I do, thankfully. Thanks. Is the one the one benefit that Larry ensured us that we would get here. That and the free snacks. And you know, Buck Bresner, one of the highest paid superstars Whoa. here, and there it is again. It's, it's like falling off a roof. Larry Safari. <laughs> um, considering roofs are the you know, ceiling is about eight feet tall, not far from it. Um leave Larry Safari is a huge WCW fan so he, was, he jumped at the opportunity to sign a WCW legend understandably so I mean you know he was Big Buck stands out in the history of WCW as one of their greatest competitors of all time if not the greatest yeah, absolutely one of their tallest oh without a doubt the tallest WCW wrestler ever yes Oh, what is this? Cure T over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, not gonna be biased. My foot. Oh, oh, oh. God! Headbutted him in the base of the neck and then just tossed him. Secure T claiming that he's wow. telling the referee that he needs to update the referee's security clearance here, but we don't have security clearances uh, at Project Wrestling. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, the power by oh, Rob Merrill. This, 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 this size difference is impressive. I mean, this is a... You're talking about a 7 foot 4 oh. man. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <Mr. Edgegeary. laughs> Holy shit, Rob is pissed. Oh, Jesus. God. This match is a slugfest. Abdominal or a... Uh, Big, the easiest claw. Big Buck is looking really impressive tonight against the champion. Change of pace for him. Yeah. Looking impressive <laughs> instead of depressive. I mean, you know, Big Buck. Oh! <laughs> Big Buck's been on a bit of a tear because he's got he's got that five man Iron Man oh. table match oh, no. to look forward to. Oh. oh. Yeah, that's right. He is in that five-man Iron Man table match. You know, it could be the night for the number one contendership for the Project yeah. Hybrid Championship. It could be the night that the Twin Towers stand tall once again. It very well could. We could have Security on top of the ladder holding the belt with Big Buck Bresner waiting to take that Project Hybrid Championship from whoever wins the Nick and uh, DeMorris match. Yeah. Could you imagine both twin towers just standing tall, standing tall with both project titles? Then they would theoretically they could challenge for the tag titles and win them and then have all the belts. That what a scary thought! It would be the most American thing oh. I've ever. Oh my God! There's no way. Oh, no. he tried. He tried, but 
It just was not that's a, happening. That's a lot of body to lift. <laughs> it's, a, it's the most. It's Ooh. literally the most. Gets him up a little bit. Doing yeah. everything he can. <laughs> he punched him right in the throat as he took him over. I mean, what else are you going to do against a man? <laughs> Too much powerful strength. Damn straight. The powerful strength style here proven to be a whole handful here for Rob Marrow. Uh, which we oh. have really good news if you're a fan of um, Big Buck Bresner. Oh. Uh, is it tonight? It's the 13th. Today is Friday the 13th. Uh, I believe a different podcaster is interviewing Big Buck Bresner tonight. Really? Later on. Uh, we'll, we'll try to reach out and find out more information about it. Well, that's it right there. That's the brain chop. Yeah, but he's not done with him. Oh, neither is Rob Marrow. Oh, Rob. No, don't don't let him get into your head. Don't do it. Security's over here pulling strings. Oh, no. Oh, oh God. Jesus Christ. It's like getting hit with a log out of the back of the truck in Final Destination. One, two, three. Oh, my God. Fuck Bresner. Says he likes to do things the right way. Well, oh. that was not the right way. No, it most certainly was not, especially considering we had security out here sticking his nose where it didn't belong, waving his badge around. Okay, I wonder if there would be a different income if outcome, income. I Either don't know. Way. Either way, the big bloody buck boot from Bhutan. Yeah, that's. You know, it's the thing. Buck Bresner is not going to be out there to help security. Uh, security is not going to be out there to help Buck Bresner. That's right. These guys are going to have to do it themselves. So teamwork is good to an extent, but once it comes down to you and your own powerful strength style, you really got to really gotta work on that. Here is yeah. your winner, the All-American Giant. Well, congratulations hey, to Big Buck Rob. Bresner getting a win over uh, our project champion. Yeah, no matter no matter what the asterisk says, that's always going to be in the record book. Yes, it is. He is it. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> Jesus, that that was a hell of a hell of an angle there. Wow, that's huge. Well, looks like we're moving on to our main event of the evening, which wow. is our next number one contenders oh yes we got a fatal four-way one of these men are going to walk out of here with a spot in the five man iron man table match oh yes scott does have claws katie's got claws we've got the big cat scott henson the firebird sean phoenix Xavier Faraday and the Prince of Purple, the October King, the Shark Knight, the best smelling man on earth, Donovan DeMora, brother. Yes. And they are vying for that spot. One of these men will be joining Dexter Beckett, Buck Bresner, and Boomer. Whew. What a what a what a lineup that match has. Yeah, so far it's quite a, it's a who's who of the, unique, of the hybrid division. A unique uh, mix of different superstars. Yeah, that's that. That's the hybrid division is Look, all about well, uniqueness. Whereas uh, Buck would say nobody's a superstar. He would say that, but he's just modest. You know, Buck Bresner is a is if nothing, he's nothing if not modest. He says there's no such thing as superstars, brother. Uh, but he, you know, but I am a WCW legend. So yeah, take that for what it's well, worth. He is. Oh, he, without a doubt, WCW's tallest competitor ever. Uh, he wrestled the Outsiders in an empty uh, arena match. He's wrestled the Big Show. He's wrestled the Nasty Boys. The Nasty Boys. 
Here Speaking of a nasty boy, he comes. From Orlando, Florida, weighing oh, yeah. in at Chick gets real nasty once Donnie gets in there, but e definitely doesn't smell nasty. No, he does not. A pleasant waft. He smells um, better every time I see him. I'll never forget the day. <laughs> the little sit he does every time gets me. That the whole Project Wrestling roster was playing some Call of Duty Modern Warfare competitively with each other and Donovan walked in front of the screen and it just that's when everybody discovered the, the immense pure pleasant odor and his opponents first Donovan from Canada now I've never personally smelled Scott Henson but just from Big looking at him Jimmy I would assume that he Scott smells Heenan. not good I smell like cat piss <laughs> or at the very least that cheap clay cat litter oh why does he walk so fucking weird I don't know he's like part cat cats don't walk like that they, they do when they got a poop. Maybe, oh, maybe Scott's got a poop. That would explain a lot. That would explain why he hasn't won a single match in Project Wrestling. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> or no, I think he... He won once. Did he? No. <laughs> yeah, no, I think he did. I think he did win a random ass match once. Maybe. Good for him. Maybe, maybe this can be... Hey, tonight could be the night. He Crazier his things first have happened. Or second match tonight. I didn't think we would see Big Buck Bresner pick up a victory over our world champion, but that's true. Scott Henson could win his second or fourth Hill, match tonight. New Jersey, weighing in at 185 pounds, Xander Faraday. Faraday, though he was on a win streak when we got things first started here in Project. He was really on a roll, but unfortunately. Things just haven't gone his way recently. He uh, he had a big return. He had his big showing uh, against the former president, Donald Trump, at our Capital Punishment Showdown. Absolutely beat the shit out of him. Oh, brutalized him. Kicked his eye out of his head. If you haven't seen it, go on our YouTube, watch Capital Punishment. Oh, yeah. Uh, he, he beat the shit. He beat... Donald Trump worse than Pennsylvania beat him. That's saying something. Alright, we got our final competitor here. The punk rock pyromaniac himself. The Firebird. Sean Phoenix. Now this is a guy It is. Sean Phoenix has uh, has had some ups and downs in his career. Yeah, unfortunately, more downs than ups here in Project Wrestling. Much like Scott, you know, this is this is this is a really uh, pivotal. We say it every time. <laughs> yeah. They're in this opportunity, but th this is really this is really something that they're gonna need. These guys could uh, greatly benefit from winning this match here tonight. Puts them into that t number one contendership match. And if they win that one, they get guaranteed a title shot. They're number one contender. Wow. I guess uh, we'll have to see how this one plays out because Sean Phoenix says, I will not be forgotten. Yeah, sure, buddy. Well... Luckily, Larry didn't forget I mean, him when he was putting this match together. Yeah, I mean, you know, if he doesn't want to be forgotten, he's got he's to pick up a win tonight. Oh, without a doubt. He definitely needs to prove himself here. The way things have been going for him and Scott Henson, not good. Not good. Okay. But, they're whoa, safe. immediately, Donovan Mora 
soaring through the air to Xavier Faraday and Sean Phoenix targeting Scott Henson. That is 100% Donnie's time to shine. But, ooh. And, oh, oh my god. That move hurts. Yeah, that is not a good move to take. It hurts every single time. Ouch. And they don't release your hand, their hands behind your neck. Oh, yeah, they just squish it. Crunch, crunches your neck. Oh. Hurricanrana by Sean Phoenix there. It's Faraday sends Donnie Mack to the outside. Not a good place to be. Ooh, spinal tap there. Phoenix is on fire. No pun intended right now. Both these guys, desperate times for them both. Oh. I mean, that's the thing, though, here at Project. You really start to get some momentum under you, and it doesn't matter if you've lost 5, 10, 500 matches. As soon as you, know, you start getting that fire lit yeah. under you, it, it can completely change your entire career trajectory, as we've seen. Well, Larry's whole, his whole theory, of, oh, God, just dumping Don into that dragon suplex. Uh, Larry's theory is, you know, you can't go lower than zero. Yes. You, you, you can't. He doesn't go... know that negative numbers exist, but yeah, I, I wasn't trying to explain that, tell him. that complexity to him. He, to him, it doesn't make sense. He can't. If Larry he just says there's nothing lower than zero. If Larry learns about negative numbers, he's going to know that we've been embezzling from the country. So. Shut the fuck up. All right, so Sean Phoenix here just barreling down here on Xavier Faraday almost forming a tenuous partnership there with Sean, uh, with Scott Henson uh, oh man on the outside now you gotta pin him in the ring Donovan not a good place to be Faraday just oh dropping Henson there into that cutter that might be it right there yeah, he's looking to get himself back Back on the top of the hybrid division. He's not going to let anybody stand in his way. Stunt puller. Donnie said, why don't you pull my stump? There it is. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Tiger suplex. Taking a page out of Scott Henson's book. God damn, Phoenix with that Larry in the corner and just double feet right to the chest. Oh. Donovan and, uh, oh shit. Oh, man, no. Not able to get the big cat up. Last thing you want to do is lift up a large cat and put it on your shoulders. That's a dangerous place to be. Some cats love to be lifted in the air, but... Scott is not one of them. Scott is not one of them. Oof. Very close call. For every Oscar, there's a hero. That is true <laughs> indeed. Oh, oh, God. Oh. Phoenix looking probably for that 450 splash. Scott Henson said, get the fuck out of here. I climb to the high places. That's what cats do. Oh, no. It's looking like Xavier. Oh, no. Almost stole it. Phoenix back up top. Oh, 450. Arrow, 450 oh, knocking down Tony. He hit the ref. He hit him. <laughs> he had his opportunity, but. Boy. Seems like he's the man with the worst luck. He really might be. Wow. And Tony's just out of it. Coming back to it, but. Too late. Is Donnie? Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ! Scott hits and taking care of business <laughs> in quite a way. Just leveling Donnie Mac. Oh, these guys are really fighting for their lives here tonight, and I love it. I love it. And that's the thing is this is this is just for a number one contender's spot or a. a I mean, it's, 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 yeah, it's a it's a, a chance at a number one contender spot. 
This guarantees you a chance at a number one contender spot. It just shows how highly valued that hybrid championship oh. is here. Oh, Judgment Slam! Let's go, Hanson! Judgment Slam! Everybody rushing back in there. A ton of it almost, almost causing the match there. Knocking down does Phoenix not care. and just. Oh, he's sticking his battleship! He stole his move! He stole it! One! One two! two. Oh, oh, so close! Faraday! Faraday taking out Tony Stabile! Possible moment! That, this has already been just such a close one. What an incredible Ooh. main event! His oh. body just tosses Xavier onto anyone. Oh, Donnie is looking real good right now. Donovan or DDT there. Hits him with that rock DDT. As Scott Edson oh. stuck his battleship. This could be it. Tur no. Turn out his fair play here. Oh, yeah. my God. He's making sure that he puts him away. He's that got that powerbomb that he's won. Signature Jackson powerbomb that people have been finishing matches with here. Project Wrestling a whole lot lately for some goddamn reason. I think that's how Scott Henson won his one match. Maybe. Faraday going up top now. Man. <laughs> this match is still anybody's game. Yep. Oh! Went for a drop kick, but Henson dodged it. Donovan's in trouble here. He went from top of the pack here to the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> Both men immediately <laughs> stopping what they were doing to break up the, the count here. Good ring awareness. Oh, oh the shark, shark fin. Fin. That's it. It's got to be it. That's it. Donovan. One. One two. Three! And Donovan, Donovan. Demura Woo! is going to heavy TLC. It certainly is Donnie time. Donnie's time to shine. Or shime. <laughs> or shime. <laughs> Dr. Diaco wins big here. That shark fin spin, you can hear it right before he hit it, he screamed, <laughs> and then he fucking bopped him one. And we are trading off those, oh. you suck my battleships. Is... Here is your winner. All right. <laughs> boy, oh boy. The field is set. Four of the five competitors are chosen here. Four of the five, we only have one more. Woohoo! Gotta wonder who it's gonna be, who's gonna take that coveted but last we'll find spot. out next week as we get ready to move on to stardom. Oh yes we are. Thank you for joining. Mm-hmm. Right, a long flight to Japan. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> and here we are in Japan. Here we go. Crowd here, as you can see, is fully packed and excited to be here. Much are we. Members of TTDT. Yeah. Well, here we go. Some stardom action. Starting things off with the... Once again, the two ladies with the weakest knee, the most sensitive knees. Oh, yeah. Got sensitive knees. Definitely got some uh, some bad blood here. Chris Statlander uh, taking the win from Tegan Knox that she fought so hard for. Tegan Knox looking to uh, prove herself once again. Yes. That's really all we got to say about this one. <laughs> I mean, uh, what else is there to 
for yeah. fuck's sake. Yeah. We got some girls. They mad. are. I think this is a good time to talk about. Mm hmm. Lancia Motors. Oh, man. Those are... Our sponsor, Lancia Mo Lancy and Air Motors. I don't know. I guess they sell planes, too. Needs oh, a... I thought you meant Lancia, like the, the there's actually a, a car Making company called Lancia Motors. <laughs> Landon C <laughs> Motors, if you need some old beat up vehicle that's gonna, Champion. that you only need to run for a couple weeks, go and visit them. Um, it's actually run by Captain Clayton Crossbone's father. Oh, what's his name? Clayton. <laughs> Clayton. He is Father Clayton. He's like the Django Fett of the Claytons. Ah, he just makes sense. He's the prototype. Made tons of them, and then they got the little Clayton, and he's like, I want this one completely unaltered, no aging. That's my payment. Hmm. I mean, he struck a great deal, I think. It's hard to say. Might be too too early to tell. And her but it's definitely not too early Heart to tell that Tiger Tegan Knox is Nick. out. Wow, you didn't even try, JoJo. You should be just shot out of a cannon. If JoJo could be eviscerated, she would be, but it's just like... These contracts, man. I mean, we, we wrote them up. We're the best lawyers in the world, so when we wrote up these contracts, I think we were a little too friendly at the time. We wanted to prove that we're great lawyers, and I think we did a little too good of a job because now we have idiots like JoJo that have inescapable contracts. Yeah. And it's just, you know... We really fucked ourselves on that. Yeah, it was a little bit of a mistake. It's something to reconsider. So technically, that makes us the best lawyers ever because we already thought we were the best lawyers ever and we outlawyered ourselves. Yeah, I mean, if anybody's going to outlawyer us... It'll be us. It'll be us. We made contracts so good we can't even reverse them. Well... Talking about reversals here, Tegan Knox is looking for a reversal Ooh. of her luck recently as she faces off once again with our, oh god, the wonder of stardom champion here, Chris Statlander. Yeah, talking about heavy TLC coming up, Tegan Knox has a very tall ladder to climb to Whoa. get to where she wants here in stardom. But the first. You know, should be taking several steps up that tall ladder. She's able to uh, pick up a victory over the Wonder of Stardom champion, who is the longest reigning champion here in all of Project Wrestling and Stardom. Yes, indeed. She's held onto that belt for quite some time. Oof. Oof. Tegan. Struggling here. A win here could help her momentum moving into heavy TLC, definitely. Oh, God. Just laying down the shots. She goes for a springboard elbow. Connects. Good Lord. Blue Thunder out of nowhere. All the stops tonight. Jeez. Just punishing here. Lord. One. Just a one count. Ain't that something. Snap suplex there by Tegan Knox. 
She is staying on stat as much as she possibly can. Continuing that punishment, looking to weaken her up as much as she can before she hits that shining wizard. I would like to have a move called the shining blizzard. Mm. You got like an ice cream gimmick. Oh, okay. Just really like ice cream. There was a Pokemon themed band named Shining Blizzard. They were good. I think they got C and D though. Oh. 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 Started oh, the yeah, yeah. division called Scardom. That would be pretty cool. If girls were Scardom. legally allowed to bleed in this fucking company. Yeah, that would, that would definitely happen. We would have. Uh, what's her name? We would sign her. Yeah. That um, Rita, re, 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 you know the deathmatch chick. It's like doing all the crazy stuff in Freedoms. Yeah, her. I can't think of her name. But Remy, Rima. Mm -hmm. she, she's crazy. Mickey Knuckles. No, I don't think so. Probably not Mickey Knuckles. Well, probably uh, uh, not. We would never sign Mickey Knuckles. Um, we would definitely look into getting some. Uh, I mean, shit. Alley Cat. She just won the Body Count Battle Royal last night on IWTV at No Peace Underground. Yes, she did. She's she's been an up and coming uh, deathmatch superstar. Oh, I mean, hey, right there, Chris Statlander had a deathmatch, and uh, I just feel like whoa, oh, oh, speaking of death, the Welsh Canadian destroyer, Welsh destroyer, yeah, that'll uh, that'll put any human out, but. Statlander is no human. No, she is not. She is more human than human. She is extraterrestrial. Ooh. Yeah, it seems like... Got her up. Center of the ring. Double knees. Picture perfect way to retain that oh, title. Hold two. on. Oh, okay. Yeah, it seems like uh, deathmatch wrestling is not a taboo anymore. It seems like everybody on the, on the scene is... Get involved in that world. Oh, that's the that end is. right there. Close encounters of the oh, fifth kind. Oh my goodness! And Tegan Knox prevailing. Knox fighting out of it here, doing everything she can to hold on. You can see the desperation in her eyes here as she just lays in every single shot. She needs this victory tonight. One, two, oh, so close. Drop it right in the back of the head. These ladies respectfully have uh, not gone for each other's legs in this match, it seems, for the most part. Too much, understand. but it looks like... Yeah, two in a row. Two. Whoa! Oh, the resiliency. Woo. Not even Statlander can believe it. much longer she can hang in here is uh, once again two three and that's it yeah you can only undergo so much punishment especially when it's from someone as experienced and unorthodox as Chris Statlander but you know Tegan Knox put up a good fight Wow, that was a hell Sorry for anyone who had to hear that terrible fucking noise that just came out of my body. <sighs> but yeah, no, uh... Winner. Yep. Who do we got? Oh, oh here okay. we go. We're getting a little, uh... Little Continuing bit of the sibling rivalry, it seems.
you know, a little bit of a preview of what's to come at Heavy TLC. These two are going to be in a two out of three tables match. Yeah, that match is going to be absolutely insane. These two have... these two just fall Oof. apart over the past few weeks entirely, and they just, you know, it seems like they just got to work this out amongst them. Hopefully, one day, these two can come back together, put their differences aside, work together again, realize they are sisters they work better together instead of against each other. But yeah. Until then, we're—I mean, we're gonna see these two. Uh, yeah. Until then, we're down a down a tag team, unfortunately, as the Battle Angels are currently uh, battling each other. Yes. Making her way to the ring from the future. Jen Sue Satoru. Of course, these two have started off before, before uh, early on in Project at Survival of the Sickest, having a singles match with each other. This isn't the first time we have seen this, but. And her opponent from the future. Yeah, there was a lot Akira less bad blood behind Sentinel. it, I think. A uh, lot less uh, tension and uh, built up pressure. And now, after, you know, both of these women feel that they were the causes for their loss of their goddesses of stardom championships. I think there was just a lot of, you know, sibling rival rivalry brewing and that just, you know, that was the that that was that boiling point losing those belts. They're just Oh trying to maybe trying to Oh, oh. wow. Arisa not sure if she wanted to shake her hand, but just hot suit just giving her a sucker Dapper. punch for not shaking it. Whoa! A bullying from her older sister here. Oh Jesus Christ! For turning the favor wow. threefold there. These two. I can't style. even imagine the punishment they're gonna deal out when there's tables involved. Oh! Is they're able to just Whoa. use their. Hands and fists is deadly weapons. Yeah, speaking of tables, these two are able to turn the tables on each other very quickly. Ooh, wow. Ooh, she stopped right to the gut. Stepping through with it. Oh, jawbreaker. Ooh. Oh, European uppercut. Shisatsu getting fired up here. Quick turnaround there, but oh, god damn. These two have no chill. No. Well, deja vu. here trying to have a, a technical showcase they're out here to just beat each other yeah that is for sure quick kick out there by Arissa dragon screw oh, oh my god Standing moonsault. These two, yeah, there really is a problem with pants in the future. Yeah, that's a uh, very apparent. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> God. Right across the throat. 
One. Oh, look at that. Snap. Hurricane Rana spiking her head first again. Satsu going up top now. Going up top. Oh. Went for a shooting star. Oh. And nobody home. And oh. Neck first. One. No. Out of the way. Oh. Lung blower. Could be going for that shooting star once again. No. Oh. So now that feels like insult oh, injury. Oh, oh. One. Two. two. Oh. Satsu can't believe it going back up. This time. Oh. Chicks 30. That's got to be it. One. One two. two. Oh. oh what? Arisa absolutely digging deep here, refusing to stay down. Not let oh my oh. god! Sending her for a ride. She said, "If you want to fly, be my guest." And once again, oh, two in a row. The strength of the younger sister. Off the ropes. Oh, oh, oh. knee strike followed by the neck breaker. Getting fired up. Once again, creeping her neck first across that rope. Oh, those standing moonsault. Yep, sweeps the leg. Satsu's so trying to figure out what she needs to do to put her sister away here. Yeah, dude. That take 30 is not going to work. I don't know. Oh, it is. Oh. Ooh. Oh, good night. Well, Jusatsu is not staying down, that's for sure. Neither of these two. Uh-oh. Up top. Well, oh no. We may not be in Project Wrestling, but that doesn't mean we can't see a Project Wrestling Superplex. Oh! God. Every single time. Oh, that's a way to shatter a tailbone. Oof. Crowd in, in Japan chanting, This is awesome in English. And think, thank you, Stardom fans. Thank you. We you agree. think this is just. A preview of what's to come at Heavy TLC. That's right. There's not even any tables out here yet. Ah. Oof. I think the insanity is going to be brought in. Just that crucifix. One, two. two. Oh. Standing shooter. Over there. She's got her in a perfect position. But she looks exhausted. Yeah. One up top here. And for another for one? Big oh no. Turn it around Phoenix. this time. Once oh. again. Oh. You can see the toll that this match has taken on both of these women. Starting to get fired up. Could be going for that Dratini driver. Yes, she oh, is. Oh, there it is. One, two, three. And the older sister really prevails oh. this time. Emptying her arsenal there. That was insane. Wow. I don't think anybody's ever taking, taken Jisatsu to the limits like her own sister has. Well, these two do know each other incredibly well. They've grown up together on the streets of uh, wherever it is they're from in the future. Orlando 2099. Something like that. Was, 
What an incredible preview of what's to come. Here is your winner, Jen Su Satoru. Well, congratulations to Satsu. Kicking things into high gear here before their match. Tensions are definitely high. Will we see the end of the Battle Angels, or will they be able to come to reconciliation after the end of that? Who knows? Well, you never know. Maybe Disney can buy them out and... Woohoo! Bring this back the be. Battle Angels. Yeah, hey, who knows? We can only hope. We got well, a real we go. exciting one here. We've got Arisa Hoshiki, who is the perennial... Uh, Go the distance, but not win the match contender here. It seems every time she's given an opportunity, she brings it all the way. and She brings her A game, but she just falls just short. Mayu Iwatani. Yeah. Recent, recently, lost her, uh, recently lost her future stardom championship. So, both these girls... Really looking to get a get a uh... win. Get a win. <laughs> of course, as we just saw, Arisa Sakuru, her her mother's favorite old wrestler, was Arisa Hoshiki. She was yeah. actually named after her, but oh, well, um, there we go. In a weird time traveling scenario here they're now um uh working together well you know and of the same similar ish age it's crazy the things that happen making her way to the ring from yamaguchi japan the icon may you maybe you Tani here looking to step back into contention and regain her future of stardom championship hopefully but uh she's got a climb ahead of her because just like project wrestling there are no immediate rematch clauses in stardom we don't believe in that you got to earn that spot you got to start back at the bottom yeah i mean when you lose you lose you know something that people like donald trump can learn from yeah exactly when you lose you lose you don't just you don't just get another chance you don't get that rematch Maybe in four years he'll get a rematch. If you're Maybe. not in prison. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully he just dies. Yeah, unless you're and dead or in prison. Or dying in prison. Or died in prison. Pretty sure if Donald Trump went to prison, he'd be killed on the first day. Uh, well, luckily, neither of these women are Donald Trump. As, as far as we can, know. Well, who knows who's under that mask? I think it's Arisa Hoshiki. You see Donald Trump? Like, I think Joe Biden slapped the color out of his hair. Because, <laughs> uh, I don't know if any of you have seen it, but... Yeah, he's looking recently, pretty, he's uh... Recently, he's got completely gray hair now. Which, pretty... What's the word? That's a, Fucking old. That is a shoot. He, uh... uh apparently, he didn't wear his spray tan, either. Yeah, he he's is. He's trying to draw sympathy from the juries. Yeah, he is legitimately gray-haired Trump. It is a sight to be seen. It is a great one. Maybe Watani has no sympathy here for uh, Arisa Hoshiki as these two are just absolutely... You gotta be a little... Uh, defenses. A little limbious of both these ladies here because they, they, they don't even have to ever worry about Donald Trump's policies. That's true. They only come over maybe once a month to America. If that. Yeah. Come oh, on. God. Project. Jesus. Shows. Wow. Scratching that knee. <clears throat> oh. oh. Big drop kick in the corner. Iwatani just punishing Hoshiki here. Oof. 
up top, looking for that elbow. No, oh, double, double stomp. stomp. Oh, oh God. my God. Two count, very close here, pretty early on in this matchup. Yeah, it's been a very intense Beautiful episode of stardom so far. Oh, oh my shit, God. that kick right in the head. Laying in those kicks here, Iwatani. Yeah, you don't step into a stardom ring and not expect to get kicked uh, very hard, very frequently. Yeah, that's that's one of the caveats of working here. One, two, three! Wow! Live Iwatani. Showing that he very much wants, she definitely wants to just climb that ladder once again. Regain that so quickly. Future Stardom Championship, hopefully. What what is going on here? Oh Whoa. come on, come on! You already beat her. You beat her fair and square. What is this? This is this is very unlike. And oh. wait a minute! There's Starlight Kid. Starlight Kid once again turning and showing Iwatani that she does not approve of her actions. It was Starlight Kid that took the future of Stardom belt from Iwatani. Wow, well, it looks like we're going to get into our next project show, so we're going to... Yeah, we're going to take a quick little pause on the stream here, so if you guys could... Intermission hold, time. Quick little intermission, give us about 5-10 minutes, we will be back, so stay on the page, keep refreshing. It is currently 10.30 p.m., be back at 1035, hopefully, and if not, try 1037. Yep.